Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how you can perform a break-even analysis using Excel's Goal Seek tool. Let's take a look at our situation. Here we have initial projections for a new business. The business owner has done research and has established a selling price of $2.25 and has projected that he can sell 15,000 units. Knowing these two numbers, we can create a formula for revenue which multiplies selling price by units sold. We also have a number for the cost per unit sold. Knowing this, we can create a formula for our variable cost, which multiplies the units to be sold by the cost per each unit sold. In addition, we have fixed costs, which our business owner has established as $20,000. Unfortunately, the result is not showing a profit, it's showing a loss. So our formula here takes revenue minus variable costs minus fixed costs. Rather than taking out a pencil and paper and spending hours futzing with changing a number, we're going to use Excel's Goal Seek tool. So what I did is I took the projections for the inputs and the formulas and I made four copies. In essence, I created four different scenarios. In one case, we're going to be changing the unit price. In the second, we're going to be changing the number of units sold. For our fourth and third scenario, we're going to change the cost per unit. And in our final fourth scenario, we'll alter the fixed cost all with the goal of turning this number, the result of this formula, into zero. So with the set cell selected, let's go up to the data tab of the ribbon, come over here into data tools, and under what if analysis, choose goal seek. In the dialog box, this is the cell that contains the formula. We want the result of that formula to return zero by changing what? In this case, the selling price. So I select the cell with the selling price, click OK, and now we can see that we break even when we change the retail selling price to $2.33 from $2.25. What if market conditions say, no, you can't change the selling price? Well, then, how many units do we have to sell to turn this result into zero? Once again, let's apply Goal Seek. With Goal Seek again, that's the cell with the formula. The result of the formula we want to be zero. This time, the input will be the cell that contains units sold. So now we can see that we must sell 16,000 units rather than 15,000, keeping everything else in place. Let's take a look at our cost per unit. Again, this is something that we can control. So let's come over, what if analysis, goal seek. Once again, the cell that's selected has the formula. The result of the formula we want to be zero by changing the cell that has our cost per unit. So now we can see that if we just reduce our cost per unit from a dollar to 92 cents, we will break even. And finally, let's see what we can do with our fixed costs. What if analysis, goal seek, sell with the formula, result of the formula we want to be zero by changing the cell that contains the fixed cost. So now we see that if we are able to lower our fixed cost from $20,000 to $18,750, we will break even. So goal seek is a wonderful way to save time and to give you answers to the question, what if? It's one of the 50 tips that I include on my DVD, the 50 best tips, tricks, and techniques for Excel 2007. And I'll see you in the next lesson.